All right, in this video, we are going to uh, build off of what I did back here in this video where we changed something based on seconds. And I mentioned in that video where, you know, if you recall watching the video, that square was just changing colors as I was sitting there blabbering on about changing this background. And that's what I want to talk about in this video. So make sure you have seen this one first um, to understand all this math that's going on here. And um, we're going to be talking about some colors. So I got some uh, HTML. This is the hex code. And I'm assuming this is what's used in KLWP with a little exception to the rule. Um, we're going to talk about that. And then also um, I'm going to talk about the list global variable some more. You see this word algebra in here. And, um, and there's a reason I have that word up here. Uh, just to explain the way we can access certain items on our list. And with that said, let me go ahead and talk about that right now. So I'm going to go over all these things um, with you. This is the code that we formed in the other video too. And this is like your general code, I guess you can say. But let's talk about this. Uh, so I'm going to go over to my globals. And the global I want to talk about right now is just how we can access certain pieces to our list. For example, I got a list global variable and I called it D, uh, just something easy to remember. And I got algebra, calculus, geometry, and statistics. Now we have four items here, but really the way you want to think about this, this is item zero, item one, item two, item three. And we can access any one of these pieces and we're going to, have to use that in our other code, but let me show you what I'm talking about. And here's the code that we can do to access any item. Now remember, zero is the first one, so we got zero, one, two, three. And uh, that's what I'm doing back here in this. So this code right here, uh, GV list name, whatever you called your list, default, this doesn't actually do anything yet. That can change, um, at least I can't get it, to, I can't quite figure out what it's doing. But the number in the list, and remember zero is the first one. So I'm going to make this full screen so you can see this a little bit better. And let me go to this guy right here. So I'm going to that word algebra, and I have it coded like this. So GV, uh, put in whatever you called your list, comma, um, default, I just left that alone. And remember, item zero is the, going to be the first one in your list, though. So watch what happens if I start changing this zero um, to one. Do you remember calculus being actually the second one in the list? If I go to number two, geometry. If I go to number three, that's statistics. Remember, all I had was four pieces. Again, I'm going to say it one more time, too. Remember, zero is the first item. So if I go back to zero, that's going to be that first item in that list. And then we did one, two, three. What about number four? There is no number four. And I think that's where this code, maybe this is bugged. I'm not sure because this default, no matter what I do here, if I type in like that crazy number there, I don't have 865. I don't have an item number 865 in that list. So this default, um, I'm thinking maybe, and notice if I come in here and I put in a zero, it's going to give me algebra. So I was thinking at first, well, zero was that first item in my list. Um, what about if I make it a 1? Notice it's still giving me algebra. So um, I don't know if this is a bug or what, but nonetheless, it don't matter. I'm going to leave it as the word default because everything works just fine with the way that is. Now, since I don't have a uh, item number 865 or whatever, um, that's why it's just returning that. But I have a, a, a third item. Number 2 is the third item in that piece. So uh, here, let's go ahead and roll on with this. That's all I want to explain there is that little code. So in actuality, I am done talking about uh, that piece. So let's go ahead and delete that. All right. Now, how do we talk about changing these colors? Now, why is my keyboard not going away? There we go. All right. Going back to this code, um, we got to talk about colors, and we got to talk about these HTML uh, color codes here. So I'm going to have to keep the phone somewhat small here, but hopefully you can see everything that's going on. So inside of Square... Let me move this over here. And if we scroll down through some of these colors, like here, see that's some type of name. And this particular website, there's plenty of websites that had this same stuff. So we got, you know, they, I don't know why they call that brown one, brown two, or whatever. But I, nonetheless, I'm going to try to get this color here for that square by typing in this code. Now, for colors in KLWP, we actually have eight characters. We got uh, a pound or hashtag one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whereas these over here only have six. But 
Um, the first two letters deal with, from, from what I understand, they deal with opacity. Um, let me just drag this over here. And notice FF, no matter where I drag it, even all down in here, FF is not changing. What's changing um, there, the first two letters is the opacity or the transparency of that particular um, color. So I'm going to leave FF and I'm not messing with that. Now we got one, two, three, four, five, six more characters. Let's see if we can get this color right here to show up. So we need, after the first two, remember the first two deal with the transparency. So um, FF4040. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to delete and I'm going to do FF4040. And notice if we do that, you see the color that's generated? That matches that pretty doggone good, right? Um, let's come on down here. Let's see if we can get this dark blue. So after the first two Fs, we want O, O, oh, this one. So one, two, three, four zeros, an eight, and a B. So I'm going to go change these last four, uh, six characters, and I forgot what I said already. O, 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 eight, B. So boom, 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 eight, B. And check it out so you know it does we are getting that color that matches that pretty doggone good so I hope you're understanding here all I'm changing is these six I don't want it I want it to be fully non-transparent so I'm gonna leave the two F's alone now all these codes down in here if I start dragging around the all of these actually change to you know as you can see those change but I'm gonna leave that way over here and here's the possible characters you can have in this thing the numbers 0 through 9 and the letters A through F. All right, zero through nine, A through F. You'll never see a G anywhere in here, um, and you'll see any number from zero to nine. As you can see over here, maybe you're starting to notice that already. We got zeros and eights, and I mean, there's any number, zero through nine, and then the letters A through F. So how can that be useful? That's where I'm going, or I have already created another list global, and this is where you, this is what you want to do. Create yourself a list global, um, I just called it C for color, easy to remember. And I've got individual items. I got zero through nine, and then I have A through F. That's going to be 16 pieces in all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. But remember, remember, this is item number zero. That first item in your list is item number zero. So this will go item zero up to item number 15 because there's 16 pieces in here so it goes from item zero up to item number 15 this is how it's going to work for me at least so let me back out of here and what we want to do is we want to go back to that color for the square I'm gonna go over to paint and I'm going to apply code to this thing and notice I have hashtag FF. I mean, I've already been messing around with this, but remember FF, it keeps it fully non-transparent. Now you can apply the code to that if you'd like, but I'm not going to. I'm going to let that be. Now, assuming you've watched the other video, I was talking about how we can change this code up here. Uh, well, let's see. I think I had something back here. Let me back out of this one more time. Okay, look at this four down here. It goes five. It goes one two, three, it's changing I think every like two seconds. Let me go down here to this text and let me show you the uh, code I have for that. Come on, open on up, there we go. So I'm using this code and notice I have that exact code there. This is how many numbers it will count up to. So it'll count from one to two to dot, 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 up to Y. In this case, it's counting up to five and it's changing from one to two, to three, to four, to five, every X second. So every two seconds, we're gonna change from a one to a two, two to a three, a three to a four, four to a five. Now this plus one is what's allowed me to do this. We'll never see a zero. But remember, since we have an item zero in our list, we actually want to do it just like that. Now we're gonna see zero, one, two, three and four. We're not going to see five now. Watch what happens. One, two, three, four, and then it's going to go back to zero. Okay, 
So I don't want to use the plus one in this case. Now sometimes that will be useful depending on what type of application you're doing. Um, I did mention in the other video I like to use uh, a plus one, but for now I, I want to see a zero because what we want to do is we want to put this code very similar to that code right there. I tell you what, um, actually it's just that code there. So I'm going to delete that. And what happens here, if I delete that plus one, it's going to count from, so if we take away the plus one, we'll give you this little code down here, whoops. Um, without the plus one, it will change from zero to one to dot, 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 up to Y every X seconds, okay? because it's not adding one, so we will start at zero and then we will count up to whatever Y is and it'll change it every X seconds. That's the code I'm going to use. And actually, I'm just going to use that guy right there. Now, what do we do with this code? So going back to the square, I'm going to go to paint and FF fully non-transparent. What I want to do is I have to do this code six times, all right, because we have six characters. So let me take this thing right here copy it and let me paste it. Notice it gave me a number, but this number is only going to go from zero up to four and it's going to change every two seconds. Well, I want to go from zero up to um, 15. Now you may say, why do I want to go from zero up to 15? Well, I got a little bit more coding to do, but uh, you'll see what I'm talking about right here in a second. So up to 15 and I'll do this uh, every, okay. Yeah, zero up to 16, I'm sorry. The reason why I want to go up to 16 because we want to count from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It'll never hit 16 because the remainder will be 0 there. Now, why? what else do we have to do here? Because I only want to see the characters 0 through 9 or A through F. Well, what we want to do here is we want to apply this code down here, right there. And then that code that I have right here, I actually want to copy and paste MU blah, 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 and I want to put it in that spot right there that I was just talking about earlier. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So actually I'm going to delete back to here, and let me do GV. This is the code that we want to use. Now my list name was C. I'm just doing this code here, comma, default, comma. Now we want to take this code right here, and actually I don't need my dollar symbols anymore. So copy that. Let's paste it. And remember we want to go up to 16 because if we don't add the one, it's really going to count up to 15. So with all that is everything where I need it to be. Let me close that up and put a dollar symbol. Boom. Okay, so notice it returned to F. Now, this is going to do it every two seconds. Here's where you want to do a couple of changes in your code. We still want to count up to 16 or up to 15, but remember the whole plus one thing is taken off. So we're counting from, um, oh, okay. It's from zero to one to dot, 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 Y minus one. Look at me, shame on me. It doesn't go up to Y. This code that I'm giving you here will not go up to 16. It'll go up to 16 minus one. We don't have 16 pieces or item number 16, but this will count up to 15. I'm sure that's confusing you. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. All right, so let's copy and let's paste that right here. The only thing I want to change about this code now is maybe I don't want to do it every two seconds. Maybe I want to do it every three seconds. All right. Notice we got four characters. I got to do this code. So I have a total of eight pieces up here. Remember the two F's were already given in the code. Uh, maybe I want to change this one every one second. Crap. Is my keyboard acting up? I'm going to have to go to my phone and use my finger on my phone. So let me paste. And I'm going to use my, I'm going to do this one every one second so we can just divide by one. Paste. And as you can see, we're building a color code up here. Um, let's change this one every four seconds. And how many characters do we have right now? One, two, three, four, five, six. We need to copy this thing two more times to get a total of eight pieces. Um, let's do this one every five seconds. And I'll do this one here on the end. 
I tell you what, I don't know what this is going to do. I'm going to do this one every one, and I'm going to do this one every six. Now, you may be thinking, okay, why don't you just do them all every one second? Well, if you do them all every one second, you're going to get the same colors repeating every minute. But by us doing this, we're getting a whole bunch of different combinations. This one's changing every second. This one's changing every five seconds. This one's changing every four seconds. A whole bunch of different combinations of these numbers and letters up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight pieces. Let's check that. And we should have some color changing going on right now. And as you can see, okay, yeah, we got some shades of purple. And it's actually just changing various shades of purple you know don't worry about that code down there let's see what happens now it's pretty cool you know that, the way that's working there it's like now we got a blue so yeah that's the idea now if you want if you did want each one to change every one second you would just you know put a one in every single one of them but you would start to see the same pattern repeat over and over and over and as you can see now, we had a drastic change there. So with that said, what I try to do before I made this video, I try to look and find patterns in the numbers. And I'm not an HTML guy. I, I mean, I use Weebly to make my website. I don't do any of the, the coding inside of there. I haven't yet. So I, I couldn't find a pattern in here. I didn't look at it too much where you maybe want to keep it within a certain range of colors and stuff like that. Um, you'll have to tweak, tweak around with it, mess with the code some to get it to stay within a certain range of colors. But um, I'll leave that up to you. I at least did want to show you how you can uh, change that square. And essentially this thing is changing colors every single second. Here it doesn't like it's changing too much, but it's just ever changing so slightly the shade of the color, if that makes any sense. But yeah, there you have it. Um, again, make sure you make note of that correction that I did make here. If we don't do the plus one, we count from zero to one to dot, 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 up to Y minus one. We never hit 16 in that code I did. We'd go to 15, then it resets back to zero. I hope that makes sense, and that is it for this video. Hope it helped.